We're learning shocking new information about the endless dangers of leaving children alone in cars, regardless of the temperatures outside. This after at least three Metro Detroit kids have been left in vehicles in recent weeks. So tonight we went out looking for some answers from the experts. Action News reporter Brian Abel is live in Sterling Heights, where just this past week, two women were cited for child neglect. Brian. And one of those women told police that she was inside here for just 10 minutes. But experts say that that's 10 minutes too many, even if heat is not a factor. First, it was Jamie Stefanko seen here getting arrested at Southgate Sam's Club for allegedly leaving her infant child in a car for as long as an hour. Then the very next day, Sterling Heights police say a car with a child inside was unlocked and unattended in a Meyer parking lot. The car's owner telling police she was inside for 10 minutes. And the next day, another at Sterling Heights' Lakeside Mall. Two children inside a car playing with tablets with a car locked and running. Their mother is saying she left them alone for 10 to 15 minutes. And it's endless. Not the number of things that can happen, it's the number of things that do happen and that we have documented. Kidsandcars.org founder Jeanette Fennell says the dangers are just too great to choose the convenience of keeping your kids in the car from the chance of the car getting put in gear to the power windows. They can just kneel on that and the window um, goes up with a lot of um, force, like 40 to 80 pounds of pressure and kids are strangled and, you know, or loose fingers and hands. We decided to see if some of the other potentially deadly dangers found on list are well known to mothers. How about uh, seat belts? Have you ever thought that seat belts might be a danger for kids as well? A danger or? Yeah, kids getting strangled by seat oh, belts yes. for playing with them. Have you heard about that before? Um, not necessarily playing with them, but certainly when they're smaller, they have the, you know, whatever contraptions to put on there so it doesn't choke them. Seat belt's just sitting there and it's dangling and it's kind of a bright color on the end. And kids will pull that and then, you know, just playing around and we put it around their neck. And you know how seat belts ratchet up, so. Um, tightly. And just this week, an example of arguably the scariest scenario for a parent. This has happened. Have you heard of this? And honestly, no. Wow. <laughs> no, I have not. Your kid getting kidnapped, even if accidentally, like in Florida, Marquise Hudson stole a car when he looked in the back, a nearly six month old child. So he takes the infant to a gas station and leaves it. What's even worse is then they either ditch the car because they realize there's a child in there and go running, so the child's left alone again. Luckily in Kansas City, a helicopter saw the car ditched in a field and captured the moment the girl is rescued by police after the carjacking. Getting kids in and out of the car it is not always the easiest thing to do, but if it's not a good decision. When people think that way, if they want to be real honest, they're putting their own convenience over the safety of their child. And leaving a child in a car is illegal in Michigan. All three people caught doing so were either cited or charged. Reporting live, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. All right, Brian, thank you.